all this folly, man. It's niggas, man. That celebrity world is evil, man. That's why the scripture says, um, was it Proverbs 23 and 4? Proverbs chapter 23, verse 4. Labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. She says, labor not to be rich. Because the Heavenly Father said, that's a light thing. For him to make a poor man rich, that's a nothing. First of all, he made a shepherd boy the king of all Israel. Forever. King David. King David didn't come from no great family. He just, he was poor, man. And he was the least of his brethren. The least. The Most High made him king. And his name lasts forever, man. So the Most High said, I ain't nothing for him to make you a poor man rich. That's, that's folly, man. Uh -huh. So don't labor to, to be rich, man. But that scripture says to be content. Read on. Verse uh, 5. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches suddenly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. It's temporary. It's temporary. That's it. Eat thou, yeah, yeah. eat thou not the bread of him that have an evil eye, neither desire thou his um, dainty meat. Mm, because the scripture, that's what the Bible called being what? Covetous. You're covetous. Right? And you know, a lot of Jake's is poor, which we know that. We, poor, we grew up poor. You see these, these rappers with the nice cars yeah. and the woman, and you envy that. See, but now you have the knowledge now to know what them guys had to do in order to get that. It wasn't a talent that got them that, man. Corey Feldman said it. He said there's no such thing as a star. They make you a star. That's how far you're willing to go. As many talented people, man. But they ain't make it to um, 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 all over there in Hollywood, man. Or got a star with their name on it. That came at a price, man. What was that price? Your soul, man. And the brother talked about Kevin Hart to wear dresses. These guys got to bend over, man. All right, remember this guy's breaking it down. There's a, uh, there's a, uh, there's some kind of porn site called Ghetto Gaggers, right? Where it's with uh, Esau violating black woman, right? And um, the guy was breaking it down. You know, the heads of the porn industry got that from when they go to these industry parties. They saw what Amalek was doing to these black female artists. So that's where they got the idea to do that site. Yeah. See? When they go out there, the Beyonce's and Rihanna's, them chicks got violated, man. Violated. They're probably doing them in front of Jay-Z, man. You see? They got violated to get that, man. That came at a price, man. That's why Yahweh Shai said, uh, Matthew 16, 26, classic scripture. This dude was a talk of the week. Takashi, man. Kahalam Yahab Bashim Yahab Shai getting you niggas out of there. Uh, this is a beautiful precept. Beautiful precept. Matthew 16 and 26. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Mm. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Nothing. And that's what you see when they make it. They're miserable. Uh. They're miserable, man. Kanye, he's miserable, man. Because. All the riches and fame that he got, he realized it's still an empty feeling in him. So now he wants to turn to Jesus. But Jesus can't help you, man. Why Jesus can't help you, man? See? He can never get over the fact that he gave up his mom. He can never... That's, that's your spirit cursing you out. He's at, he's not at rest, man. He's miserable. Same thing with Michael Jackson. Um, They said that he could never sleep. That's why the uh, doctor used to give him um, injections. And then the last injection we gave him, he didn't wake up. Yeah. How come he couldn't go to sleep? All that money you got, you can't go to sleep. Why? Take a while, guess why he couldn't go to sleep? Them demons was messing with him, man. Tormenting him, man. And he, and he, he literally made songs talking about seeing demons in his house and stuff like that. Like, yeah, ghosts, yeah, yeah. It's scary. I used to listen to Michael Jackson when I was younger. Yeah. And I used to hear him, like, like he, he gave me, like, an airy, scary, creepy vibe. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what they said. Most celebrities, they don't have... That's why you see they never by themselves. And they don't have a lot of mirrors in their house because they actually see things. See? Same thing with Prince, another guy who made all kind of money. He used to walk around with the name Slave on his cheek because he realized what the music industry had done. Guess what? They killed him. They put him to death, man. 
DMX once upon a time was on top of the world, man. Uh, he had movies, shows, uh, uh, number one albums, rapping, always getting locked up because he started talking. He started talking about the industry and how gay they are. All of a sudden, he was always getting locked up every single time because they were destroying his image. That's like they're doing to this crime right now. Yeah, they may let him out. They more likely may let him out, but they know his image is destroyed. It's a game to eat off. This is your quote unquote gangster, your king of New York. See? That serve you niggas right, man. And that's what they're going to do to the rest of you clowns, man. All right? He's going to use you for his agenda, and he's going to spit you out, man. That's why, I, in fact, we get Ecclesiastes 12. Verse 10. I have a quick precept. Come, come, Oh, yeah, you can bring it out too. Please ask this. Yeah. Uh, Luke, uh, chapter <laughs> 6, verse 24. But woe unto you that are rich, mm. for ye have received your own, sorry, ye have received your consolation. Yeah, you received your reward. And that's not the top prize. The consolation is not the top prize. The, the top prize we're going to get is everlasting. The most I ain't going to give us. Um, quote unquote worldly fame. He's gonna give us glory, everlasting glory. A name's gonna ring. Same thing I read about the great men in this book here. Your name's gonna be written about man, for eternity. Yahweh Shai got everlasting glory, and so does this man. See, and a lot of you two thirds that come back is gonna taunt you for a little bit, man. See? Because you're gonna be like, damn, those are always the man of the Lord. I never listened. I did this, I did that. Don't mess with you for a little bit, man. See, so, like, what we doing now is for eternity, man. See? Just like you read about wicked men right now, and you're going to read about him in the, in the world to come. We know about Judas Iscariot. I mean, he's going to be in the kingdom. But guess what? His name is forever tainted, man. We don't want to be that, man. See? We done? Oh, oh, yeah, Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. These guys is getting persecuted now. You guys took the fruit of the serpent, man. Now you getting bit. See? Yeah, photographer. Yeah, Ecclesiastes the cuss. Yeah. It's lock here. It says, um. Uh, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 10. Oh, verse 13. That's the point. 13? The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 13. Matter of fact, we can start from 10. 10 is good. Let's start from 10. 10. Yeah. Done. Never trust thine enemy. But the Bible said, read that again. He said what? Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. Never trust thine enemy. And if, our people don't even know who the enemy are. They think the enemy is each other. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, this is simple, man. Go back to the curses, Deuteronomy 28 54. Yeah. Our eyes are evil towards our brother. Toward our brother. And they love the devil, man. Oh, uh, you're this other clown. What's her name? Yeah. Candace Owens. You seen her? Yo, she is she's a ghetto gagger. He saw the defiled her. She coming out talking about everything is a black man's fault. She needs to be put to death, man. Uh, why don't you why don't you go into what caused that? Mm -hmm. What caused us being in the ghettos and strung out on drugs? Breaking the Mosai's commandment. And breaking the Mosai. What caused that, man? See, you wanna point you don't wanna point to the oppressor, man. See? And all them niggas, all them niggas is out of there, man. T.I., all them niggas, man. Even though he was cutting her. But all them niggas is telling you to vote, man. Vote for what? Vote for who? Who you gonna vote for, man? Don't you know that president sit on a Masonic seat, man? All them guys are Masons, but all them guys are part of the Brotherhood, man. You think the average Joe like me or you could just, oh, we gonna run for president? Like, no, you not. We don't know you. Who are you? You see what I'm saying? You're not tied in. You're not juiced in. All right? That's controlled, man. And them guys, they know that, man. Matter of fact, yeah, read on. For like as iron rusts, as so iron eventually, yeah, iron is eventually gonna rust. So is his weakness. He's gonna show his horns eventually. Okay? Though he humble himself, though he and humble go, himself, yeah, and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast whipped. A uh, looking glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the scripture says, though he humble himself, take heed of him. And that's these Edomites, man. Always coming up with this smile and patting you on the back. You see? The scripture says, you got to take heed to a man like that, man. He's trying to soften you with his words, man. Go ahead. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Cunt, read. Set him not by thee. 
set him not by thee, man. Ahead. At least when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Uh huh. Ooh. That's why you Edomites can't come in this truth, man. Because eventually they gonna be the top teachers, man. You know what I mean? Nah, you can't come in this, and the spirit of the Lord won't allow you devils to come in this, man. See what I'm saying? She's gonna say what? And he did that. Ultimately, he did that to the Gadites, Native Americans. Came over here, soft words, because he couldn't survive. After he learned everything and he gained that knowledge, and he got reinforcements, they overthrew them, man, and stood not a here. They stood in their place. The scriptures are talking about, man. Read on. Neither let him sit at thy right hand. Uh huh. Least he seek to take thy seat. Uh huh. And thou at the last remember my word. And, and this is the point I'm going to hear now. And be pricked therewith. Who will pity a trauma that has been with the serpent? So we don't feel sorry for none of you niggas, celebrity niggas. Man. Who will pity a trauma that's bit by a serpent? If a guy is playing with serpents and a serpent turn around and bite him, you don't feel sorry for that guy, man. You had no business. Yeah, business playing with no damn rattlesnake or no cobra, man. What you think the snake was going to do? So this is the same thing the scriptures are saying. What you think this Edomite was going to do, man? Huh? All them sacrifices mean nothing, man. You see? You gave up your mom, you gave up your booty hole, all that, man. And at the end of the day, it still toss you to the side, man. They don't give a shit, man. Alright? That's the spirit. Michael Jackson made a song. They don't really care about us. Yeah, he realized that. He realized that. Yeah, that's like, yeah. 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 I have a question. Where can I find out on the Bible? Huh? You got 50,000? Easy. Easy. That's Charles made a proof. This is easy. If you read, have you ever read the book of Revelation? I didn't read the Bible. Oh, where's Babylon? And where is it? It's the Bible. You know what I'm saying? But where is Babylon? Uh, you got to go already? Oh, all right. All right. No, I said, I said, if you read the Bible, get eyes, Revelation, the whole book, Revelation 17, 18 goes into the destruction of Babylon. All right? My brother got no time. You got no time. You wait, wait for the next bus. Wait for the next bus, man. Come over here talking about can you prove that? That's child's play to prove, man. Are you kidding me? Matter of fact, give me uh, Jeremiah 50. The destruction of America. Babylon the Great. Jeremiah chapter 50. 50 and 51 goes into um, America's destruction. In fact, let me, let me see. That whole chapter, 51, let me see. Yeah, read verse 51, chapter 1, verse 1. Jeremiah 51, chapter verse 1, yeah. Alright. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 1. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon, and against them that dwell in the midst of them, that rise up against me, a destroying wind. What's that destroying wind? The nuclear destruction. The nuclear destruction. We're going to read on. Go ahead. <laughs> and will send unto Babylon fanner, and shall fan her, and shall empty her land. What is going to empty the land? That fire, man. Go ahead. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. All these nations going to come up against America, man. You see? Right now, they're against the kings of the east right now. But even when you read the book of Revelation, it tells you that the beast's going to hate the whore. Anyway, read on. I'm going to get this. a certain point I'm going to get. Verse 3. Against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. Uh -huh. And against him that lifted himself up in the... Slakia. In his... Verse God... What's the word? Slakia. Oh, let me read. I was looking for it. What? Where you got? Verse... Jeremiah 51, verse 3. Against him that bend let the archer bend his bow. Oh, the brigadine? Yeah, the brigadine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The brigadine? Brigadine. Yeah. That water. Uh, and against him that lifted up him that lifted himself up in his brigadine. And spare ye not her young men. Destroy ye utterly all her lords. Uh -huh. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans. And they that are thrust through in the in her streets. Matter of fact, read. 
Read verse 44. Verse 44. Oh, verse 20. Read verse 28. Jeremiah 51 and 28. Prepare against her the nations with the kings of the Medes. And the Medes is the Russians. Mm -hmm. All right, read on. The captains and, thereof. And it proved this is not ancient Babylon Jeremiah is going into. Because the Medes did take down ancient Babylonians. All right, um, the Persians and the Medes. But to prove that this is not talking about ancient Babylon, Iraq, we're going to read on. Keep reading. And all the rulers thereof, and all the land of the dominion. And the land shall tremble and sorrow for every purpose of every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon mm -hmm. to make the land of Babylon a desolation without an inhabitant. So Iraq, yeah, got taken down by the Persians and the Medes, but there's people still there. What Babylon is, when it's going to be destroyed, it's going to be left without inhabitant. Right here in America, man. What, that's the Babylon that Jeremiah is talking about. When the Most High is done with this place, there ain't going to be no inhabitants, man. Uh, that goes directly with the book of Revelations, man. Come on, man. Good. The mighty men of Babylon have forborne the fight to fight Slakia. They have remained in their holes. Their might have failed. They became as women. They're gonna be screaming, hollering. Uh, They're gonna lose their pride, man. Man, and then jump to verse was it forty four? Verse forty four. And I will punish Bel and Babylon. That, that was one of their gods. Go ahead. And I will bring forth out of his mouth. That which he has swallowed up, uh -huh. and the nation shall not flow together anymore into him. Yeah, the wall of Babylon shall fall. So the nations, nobody's going to come here no more, okay? And the Most High said when he's done with this place, it's going to be left without an inhabitant. That's why, matter of fact, yeah, Isaiah 13, 19. 13, 19. Fine. Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 19. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms. This is the glory of kingdoms. Because everybody comes here to do business. Mm -hmm. Everybody. We can pan the camera around. And there's a what? It's a multitude of nations here. There's Jake here, Esau here, Moab here, Ammon here, Ishmael here, Ham is here, Elam is here. Everybody's here, man. Come on, man. The 18 nations, everybody is here. Everybody's in America, man. See, look at these more bites here. See? If we go to Iraq now, you're not going to have a multitude of nations. Ancient Babylon. You see? This place is unique, man. Go ahead. Isaiah 13 and 19. In Babylon, the glory of kingdom, uh -huh. the beauty of the Chaldees, uh -huh. excellency, uh -huh. shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. What did the Most High do to Sodom and Gomorrah, man? Got those elements together, that fire, and he gave that same technology to Esau to put in missiles. That's the same fire that he used. Okay? So is this place gonna be left as when the most high destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. Precept. Huh? Zechariah 14 and 12. Uh 12, yes. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will slay all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. That's that nuclear destruction. That nuclear, and that thing is horrible, man. That nuclear fire. When you look at that Nagasaki and Hiroshima, you still see people with shadows on the floor, man. On the floor, man. You see? Shit, sure, that was 144 right there. <laughs> that was a spirit right there. But yeah, like we were saying, that was the most high um uh Nagasaki and Hiroshima, man. And the nuclear weapons they got today is hundreds, thousand times more powerful than that, man. They constantly keep developing new weapons. Russia just developed a, a new one called Satan number two. They said it could wipe five states out, man. One time. And now America is not the only country with nuclear weapons. Iran is on the verge. China. North Korea already North got Korea, it. Korea, Russia. Yeah. They got them nuclear bombs, man. Matter of fact, get Revelation 18, 18. So they say, how can we prove that? That's child's play. Talking about you read the Bible. 
Oh, man. The destruction of Babylon, destruction of all kingdoms and major empires was already talked about in the scriptures. Okay, Daniel saw the fall of all kingdoms in chronological order. Read that. Revelation 18, verse 18. And cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? That's what the other nation is going to say. Because they can't do business here no more. Gone. Right? And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her. Yeah, trade, merchants. See? That's how she got rich. I'm going to move on to the top slide here. Uh, verse 19. Revelation 18, 19. And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich all that had shipped in the sea by reason of her consciousness. Con, con, read on. For in one hour is she made desolate. So it's going to take one hour for the Most High to bring this place down. This great city. And of course, you're going to have the fire from the chariots and Yahweh Shai. Con. You're going to have Leviathan doing his thing. You're going to have Leviathan doing his thing. Most High going to bring everything out, man. The 144 tearing this place up. But we're going to get beamed up. Lord willing. Lord willing, we're part of that number. Okay. And we're going to see the show play out. You're going to see people running for their life, getting burned up. Oh, man. And the scripture says, when we see the destruction, you're going to be praising your about Shimei Al Shah. Because that is going to be horrible, man. I remember there was a, a fossil elder to Harb brought it out, which I read that guy holds dream. That dream was insane. It was a... Um, I think a uh, minister, I don't know if he's an Edomite or he looked like Edomite, he had a dream of America's destruction in the 1950s. Yo, he said, oh man, the dream was so, the way he described it, he said, no, it's on a website. He said he saw the Statue of Liberty, actual Statue of Liberty, she was happy, she thing, and then something happened, um, like missiles hit her. And he said, he said, the actual statue of liberty, she was stumbling and falling, and she started burning up. And then he said, it wasn't only the statue of liberty, he could see, like, all, all 50 states started going on fire. Then he said he saw people running, and everything started being destroyed. That's like a short summary, but the way he wrote out the whole thing was crazy. It's crazy, man. Yeah, and Lady Liberty is going to be destroyed, man. God. That queen of heaven's spirit, man. Okay, Babylon the Great, man. But she is a harlot. It tells you that. Matter of fact, read Revelation 17 and 1. Revelation 17, verse 1. And there came out, suck it, and there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven veils, and suck talked it. with me. Suck it. Oh, yeah, keep reading. Suck it. Yeah. Revelation 17 and 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven veils, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sit upon many waters. Are the nations, man? Okay. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. I said, well, her doctrine, her democracy, man, and above all, her new world order. Gone. All right. So he carried me away in the spirit until until the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. That's the, that's the woman is America. Mm -hmm. The beast is NATO. She controls NATO. Gone. See? I like we was going into Lady Liberty. Yeah, man, that's all. That's that Babylonian spirit. Because we're reading it right now. The Great War, man. A sitteth upon many waters, man, the other nations, man. Because the angel breaks it down for him further on in the, in the chapter. Okay, who this woman is. And it says on her forehead was what? Read again. It's like your, uh, and I saw a woman sit upon a skull called a beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great. Mystery Babylon the Great. So she was decked out 
But even though she was decked out, she had all kind of abominations, man. See, the scriptures is bad. They describe her as a beautiful woman and as, as an evil um like these women they look good. Some of them look good because of the uh the makeup and the mascara and all the things that they have on. Like uh I forgot one of the philosophers said that these women are like uh cities built upon sewers. They may look good, but they may have all kind of diseases. They may have a, a multiple men, man. Multiple baby fathers, man. You see? That's the same thing the scripture described as America, man. Uh, she looks good in the outward appearance, the land of opportunity, and you can do this and that. But she's full of abominations. You could be a homosexual, transgender, all that's that's a part of her doctrine. That's a part of her fornication. Feminism. You see? Read on. The mother of harlots mm. and abominations of the earth. Abominations of the earth, man. And also these fake ass religions, man. You can worship any god here, man. Go uh, ahead. Verse 6, and I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. And that's how she got rich. She got drunken off the blood of our people, man. You see? Scripture's going into. So what do you mean, uh, where is uh, uh, this in the Bible? We're reading it right now, man. See, but it's written in code, man. You see? It's written in code, man. We know where this Babylon is, man. The scriptures is clear on that, man. Let me see if I can find one thing in... Let me see, Baruch. Let me see if I can find something real quick. Let me see. Uh, Baruch chapter 4. See Baruch chapter four. Baruch, get Baruch chapter four verse um twenty one. Baruch chapter four verse twenty one. Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord, and He shall deliver you from the power and hand of the enemies. For my hope is in the everlasting. That's our hope, man. Go ahead. That he will save you. Mm -hmm. And joy is come unto me from the Holy One. Uh -huh. Because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting of our Savior. Ooh, so that didn't happen back then. Yeah, eventually um, we got back to build the temple. Who was the Savior? Yahweh Shai, man. Go ahead. Slash, yeah, read that one time. I, 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 I put a word in it. Because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our Savior. For I send you out with mourning and weeping, but the Most High will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. And that hadn't happened yet. So that's happened. That's about to happen now. So uh -huh. Baruch is in the spirit right in this thing. Read on. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting which is the chariots man they gonna see that glory man that's gonna be a world global event you see and they gonna see us getting beamed up Lord willing man all them they gonna see it read verse 31 the whole chapter is good but um read verse 31 on there through 431 miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall miserable are the cities which the, thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy son. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. And who is she? We just read about her. Revelation the 17th chapter. We just read about who she is. The mother of harlots, man. Babylon the Great. Go ahead. Verse 34. But I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting. Come on, man. Come on, man. The scriptures. So we have eyes to see what the scriptures are talking about, man. We know what the script. We know the parables, man. Uh -huh. And brought that Yahweh Shimei Go ahead. Uh -huh. Go to endure. 
and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. Which are what? These foul creatures. Oh, 